Good afternoon. The congratulations of the 12 years anniversary. I remember you were small, the baby, like Bata, but now you are already conqueror. God is truly work of the, our life. God is truly using our life. Whenever we are surrendered to the Lord, whenever we give our best of the best, the Lord never forget you. Sabi mo katabin, the Lord God never forget you. He remember entire life of everyone that who love God, who really give his life, and he will be give special favor into our life. Twelve years is a long years. Twelve years, a lot of the tear. Twelve years, a lot of the testimony. Twelve years, a lot of the prayer. And the result of every effort of the member. Now, we are celebrating 12 years anniversary. Let us give you a clap offering to the Lord God. Thank you for inviting me to the message this morning, this afternoon. And I would like to put the title of the, our message is Conqueror will take the, pro, the possession of the old life. Sorry, I am not the familiar this one. Let's open the Bibles, the Joshua chapter 1, verse 3 to 8. Joshua chapter 3. Verse, uh, verse 3 to 8, I will give you every place to where you set your foot as I promised Moses. Your territory will extend it from the desert to the Lebanon. And from the great river, the Epaphrates, all the Hittite country to the Mediterranean Sea in the west. No one will be able to stand against you at the day of your life. As I was the Moses... So I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courage because you will lead these people to inherit the land. I swear to the their ancestor to give them. Be strong and be courage. Be careful to obey all the law my servant the Moses gave you. Do not the turn from it to the right or the left. That you may be successful wherever you go. But say it. Keep this book of the law always on your lips. Meditate on it day and night. And so that you may be careful to do everything written in it. Then you will be prosperous and successful. That's next. And we always remember in our Christian life. And I hear that the message today, that your title of the theme of this anniversary, Conqueror. The Conqueror was indicated in Romans chapter 3, that verse 38, the 7, is remember the conquering of our life, it's not easy. Whenever you see what is the, there is a lot of problem, a lot of struggle, a lot of circumstance, a lot of hindering, just like a testimony. From the full of full, from the nothing, from the difficult situation, all of them we encounter problems. Somehow the people were so much discouraging. Somehow we have a serious problem of our physical illness. There's sometimes the family background at a broken family. Somehow our finances is nothing else. It seems like hopeless. But you know what is indicated in Loman chapter 8, verse 37? What is indicated in all this, before the things, the world, in all things, what is say that all, the, that the world, in all these things, we are more than conquered. But before that message, that what is say N-O. What is the Bible? No. In all these things. What is the indication, the first one? No. N-O. Yes, you have a situation problem, my difficult situation, difficult uh, circumstance, everything, but no. But no. Sabimo, no. It means we will deny our circumstance. 
We will deny our according to our situation. We will deny about our doubting in all of this situation. Whenever you trust the Lord, the Lord make way into our life. God is not just a sleeping God. God is not just like a far away. He is in here. He is in our life. He is in my life. Whenever you believe the Lord, He can change everything into our life. Amen. That's why His blessing, His power is very near into our life. What you can see, it can be yours what God prepares. It can be. But the Pharaoh, the condition is if. If you believe the Lord, if you really commit to the Lord, and this will be all the situation will be removed, and it can be yours what God prepares. According to the message here in the book of the Joshua chapter 1, what is the message of the, the people of Israelites by the Joshua? All of them is encounter problem. All of them, they lost the leadership of the Moses. They were in the middle of the journey and the wilderness life. They have nothing to possess. They have no any houses. They have no any direction into their life. And what we can say, Paano? What can we do? They just look at each other. What will next? Our leadership will mostly pass away. And our new leadership is Joshua. But how? How? And all of the situation encounter the problem, the moment of the problem, what is the here is say that all of the things that we will be, we will be encounter problem, but whenever you are in the Lord and it will be yours, you can be overcoming all of the problem. Amen. Because you know why? God is in you. Problem is... If you do not feel that you are walking with God. The problem is, I, I seem like I'm a member. I seems like a Christian. But if God is not with me, you can do nothing. You cannot overcome the problem. The conqueror, it is not yours. And your situation will be never changed. But if God is with you, the Lord will change every situation. Amen. Miracle is yours. Power will be yours. All the finances will be yours because God is is with you. Amen. Sabi mo katabi, God is with you. Our title today, Conqueror will take possession of what God prepared. I think there was the problem of the PowerPoint book. Conqueror will take possession of what God prepared. This is very good. Conqueror, what is conqueror? Victory, winner. The winner will take all kinds of positions. What is the message of Joshua? You will be taking the position. You will be get the land. You will be in, enjoy. You will be protected. You will be blessed by God. You will be answered by God because you are a conqueror. Sabi mo katabi, conqueror ka ba? Parang mo ka lang conqueror. But I know your pastor, Reverend, Reverend Galin Kanyado, malakas ng malakas ng prayer. Amen. Before, talaga ng payak ng payak siya. Now, malakas ng malakas ng katawan. I know he's very prayerful. Conqueror will take a position. Conqueror will take everything. Because you know why? God commanded us to claim what God Prepare. What is remember? God command us to take and claim what God promised. What God command whenever you follow. The una una what you have to do, you have to follow absolutely. You have to follow absolutely because there is no way but whenever you command, whenever you follow the Lord, you have a right to command blessing of the Lord. Amen. Wait. Because that is the promise. That is something happening. That is the things. Sometimes our situation out of control. Especially financial matter. What you experience financial matter, I also experience financial matter. Whenever you experience difficulty, I couldn't experience difficulty. 
I very remember in my life when my second daughter applied to college. And she told me, Papa, I want to enroll college in Korea. And I said, okay, you enroll, enroll in Korea. Because the tuition fee is lesser. Because there is a scholarship fund, etc., etc. I told her, okay, mas maganda, you enroll Korea muna because our tuition fee, we are work as a pastor, we have a less salary, we have no afford to pay tuition fee. So she applied to Korea, the, the, the exam, she applied of the old school. My daughter was a brace guard, little bit major, major, uh, Matali, tamayo, Matalino? Or major smart. Siya. She applied. So 100% I was confident. Yes, my daughter naman, the daughter of pastor, dapat you passed the all the exam. I expected. And after she took the exam and applied the five, the, the best school in Korea, and the first school, the answering that when we opened the internet, the result failed. I was questioned, what will fail? I know who you are. You are my children. We know. Second school, maybe the, I say to my daughter, don't worry, maybe the school does not fit it for you. It's better the second school. Second school, and no, the second exam, the final call, the result of exam, fail. Third school, fail. Fourth school, fail. Fifth school, fail. What do you think if your daughter all fail? Our house door all closed. Miyak ng miyak. Parang hopeless. Lord, sabi ko, Panginoon, ikaw naman. Very discouragement. You know, brother, sister, the moment you have a discouragement, you have to remember. God command us to claim what we pre promise. Whenever you follow the Lord, whenever you commit to the Lord, whenever you are fully holding the promise of God, God will do. Amen. I say to my daughter, don't worry, the, uh, manak. maybe the Korea is not pitted. God has a different purpose. God has a different way. Yes. The moment you have a problem, you're holding the promise of God, but you need to really pray hard. You have to really open up your heart and cry to the Lord. You really have a divine intimacy prayer relationship. And you really pour out. This promise of God is not easy to gain. You have to, what is the Bible say? Claiming. Claiming. It's not just waiting. You have to really ask the Lord. You have to really put your all heart. That's why all the day and night, my family will pray together. Lord, ano yung direction mo? What is the solution? Look at my daughter. Pinaka nang discouraged na now. She cry. And what is the solution? But the later on, my daughter suggests me, Papa, since Korea was the failing all of my apply, can I apply U.S.? And sabi ko, anak, U.S. tuition fee is the triple, triple Times too expensive. That's impossible. Just apply lang. Apply lang. Who knows God will make a way. When my children told me, who knows God has a plan different? What should I? Oh nga. Sige, try it. There's no payment. There's no anything. She applied it. When she applied the school, she applied the school, the, the school was a choosing because we apply full-time tuition fee, full tuition fee, and the school was a choosing the 600 students. Among the all thousand applicants, they selected 600. By grace of God, she belonged to the 600. She passed the 600. And among the 600, praise God. And then they will have another exam and interview. They will say that they will choose 120 students. Nang sabi ko, sana we will pass by that 120. By grace of God, she passed. She entered 120 students. Praise God. And after that, that's not the our desire. And sabi ko, Lord, kailangan tuition fee free. Tuition fee free. And when I check the tuition fee free, must be one student only. The whole school, the University of Union, only choose one. And among the 120 students, all interview and interview, 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 
the lastly, they send me, the school was sending the letter to my daughter, ikaw lang choose number one. And the school was sending the letter. When I receive letter, congratulations, your daughter will be receiving 5 million pesos of tuition fee. So, the, the, the five... <laughs> Hindi ko, do you know five, five million peso? Hindi ako lang five, ako lang libong peso. Five million pesos, that was the beginning. Not only five hundred, five million peso, six million, seven million, until she finishes all courses and she's spending more than ten million. And sometimes I talk call to my daughter, Anak, do you need the money? Anyway, I have no money, but do you need money? And she always say, Papa, I don't have a money. I don't need money. Nothing else. You don't need to send even centavo. I have enough fun from God. I found out, I found out, whenever you are committed to the Lord, whenever you really submit your life to the Lord, God never forget. Pero one thing is important, you have to claim. You have to claim. You really spending time not only serving God, not only singing, not only worship, not only evangelism. Same time, you have to really cry out. You have to claim the, the promise of God. When you pray, the claim the promise of God, the Lord will be fulfill His promises. Praise God, now my daughter is already a medical doctor. And she is now working there. And she said, he will be supporting the Filipino student for her. Since she receiving scholarship, she decided to also supporting Filipino students. I all things I didn't know. I thought our thought is in Korea study. We thought in something else. But sometimes you didn't know God's plan. Sometimes you didn't know God has another big plan. Sometimes you didn't know. That's why all the way, never compromising, never the complaining, never grumbling, but always give you things and commit your life and claiming what God promised. Amen. That will be yours. That will be yours. Because why? God is the more than your imagination to our life. That's why whenever you want to be a conqueror, you must to have a faith that God is working into your life and God will make a way into our every day of the life. The conqueror, it's not easy. One time victory is the great. We remember the Israel life. When the Israel entered the, the Jericho, the, uh, the, the Jordan River to enter Jericho, and all Israel ex experience of the victory. The Jericho Tower was destroyed. All the people say they absolutely have a victory. They enjoy, they praise in God. But in second tower, the small tower of I, they lose it. So in other words, the victory is not the always available into our life. You have to maintain. Number two, are you concerned for our sale today? Number two, please. Number two, we have no time. May you have to use pastor, no? Next time, teach me how to do. Number two, ako na lang po. Number two, when God commanded us to carry out the law. When, when the Israel was entering the Jericho, when everybody is entering the Jericho, and they conquered the Jericho, going to uh, Ai Tower, and all the way Israel, God command us to carry the law of God. God is always, what God always command us to holding. Ganyan na yung sabi niya ng sister, holding, holding. Sabi mo, holding. What is you will claiming, you will remain in conqueror, conqueror, but the problem, there is a lot of circumstance, there are a lot of testimony, a lot of the environment problem, a lot, a lot of temptation, a lot of struggling we have. 
Even we as servants of God, we sometimes lose our faith. Sometimes we encounter problem. That's why what the Bible told us, you have to hold in the promise. What is the message? God command us to carry out the Lord. And we don't carry the holding of the promise. That's why God command to the Joshua to say, remembering the law is the essential step to entering Ganaan. When the Israel entered Ganaan, the essential power in the word of God. They have to believe. They have to trust the word of God. They have to carry the word of God. They said whenever they're carrying the word of God, the Lord will be working. When you're holding the promise, the word of God, the meditate, and the believing the word of God, it will be go together. Please do not go alone. Do not do the ministry alone. Do not make a business alone. Do not decide alone. You have to always meditate the word of God. You have to always ask the Lord God, and His word will be guiding the direction of life. Amen. That's why. That's why our future, we have no sure. We do not know what to do. But if God is the one working, He will bring us. That's why every step of life, every step of life, the Lord tells to Joshua, if He is the lead the people of God to rest in Ganaan, then He must take heed the law of God. I have a confidence in my life. I do not know what is the future, but I am confident why I am holding the promise of God. I am believing the message of God. I am always follow the message of God. Amen. Yun nang insurance. My insurance kayo. My insurance kayo. Yun nang our reservation. Our pocket of money is not the reservation. Our reservation that we believe the word of God, we follow the word of God, we will be always the company with the word of God. Amen. When you do that, the Lord has protections. The Lord has protection. I very remember the before when we built this construction church. When we are in the Tai Tai church, I have no desire to church, building church here. Binangonan. Even I do not know the Binangonan. And one of our members, Deacon De Contino, he passed away. De Contino was a transfer dito binangonan. And sabi niya, Pastor, can I invite you dito, my bahay ko? So that's the, my first time I visited his house. And when I visited during that time, hindi yan madami houses, marami ng bacon and bacon. And sabi niya, De Con, Pastor, dito yung mura ng lote. And same time, wala nang simbaan. Pwede nang tatayo ng simbaan? Sabi ko, no. Una, wala nang budget. Second, wala nang puso. May puso kayo? Wala ako ng puso. Binangunan. Saan yun binangunan? Hindi nyo alam. Wala nang puso. Puso ko dan sa taytay kasi church, my church. Wala nang puso. Totally, wala nang tao nang girala dito. And he's keep on the, Pastor, please, 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 when there is a message, he can keep on telling me, please, please, please. I receiving his word, una, just like a normal voice. Second, I just receiving, just joking. Thirdly, when I receiving, it's not joking, it's not normal. It is something special passed by mind. What I did, okay, I will pray. Yun nang starting po. When we pray, God has a special, special plan nakita ko dito sa Binangunan Church. And the Pastor Glenn Kanyada was already preparing the, his development of pastoring work. So, he was ready. So, everything was a timing in our life. And that's why, and then the, the things so that we don't have a budget to build in, then that moment, somebody called me, Pastor, I want you to have the Philippine church to construct. Do you have an, any place to know to build a church? Yun lang timing. God's timing was perfectly. And our member, Deacon Tino and Deacon Lita, transferred here. And the Lord, this lot was available. And our, one of our friends was called me to building church. And then he wanted to send the money. Everything was set and set and set. 
Because you know why? God is the plan for this church. Amen. Because God has what ano yun? Hidden. Heeding the God's word when you entrust the Lord, when you believe the Lord, when you obey the Lord, He is the one carrying your life. You do not worry about your life in the future. I always told my children, do not forget tight. One time my daughter told me, my elder daughter, Papa, gusto ko ng business. Sabi ko, maka business ka, may, may baksa kayo, marami ng problem business, don't do it. And gusto niya daw. Kayo na lang bahala. Kung may meron, meron kayo, ikaw lang bahala. Your money naman. But one thing I told you, you have to don't forget. Whenever you have a tithing, you have a correct offering to the Lord God, I am sure the Lord will be with you. You know, brother, sister, what is important? There are many Christians, niniwala ka sa Panginoon, pero action is not the following the Word of God. Whenever you are not following Word of God, the Lord will not work into our life. Amen. There was a one time, I remember when our school was located in the prayer mountain. And during that time, we are enrolling of the, our school and we already applied to chat. When we applied to chat, our Bible school to be college, we all prepared, everything was prepared. And the, the chat is told me that, they will be coming for inspection. They will come, they send a message that tomorrow morning, we will go to your school to inspection, whether we will approve your permit or not permit to become a college or not college. So they will send a lot of the requirement, equal number one, number two, number three, hanggang 12, madami ng requirement. So we will do all, check, 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 check. But until the evening, until the evening, we prepare everything but kulang yung isa, requirement. Ano yung requirement? The school need librarian, licensed librarian. And tomorrow morning, the, the, the inspection of the chat will come. But the problem, we don't have any licensed examiner, a librarian to work in our school. And we have a staff meeting, all of our staff will say, we conclude meeting and we conclude that no, it's impossible. Let us uh, surrender. Let us stop na lang. Maybe no way because we couldn't find, until now, we didn't find any librarian license. So tomorrow, even if they will come to inspect, and we will, not, we will never pass it. So we will giving up. I remember. Among the, we conclude that no choice, let us not expect tomorrow. One of the members of the, our staff said, Pastor, kailangan pray. Who knows, tonight, God will make a way. Amen. Amen. Do you think God will make a way on them? Depends your prayers. God will make a miracle or not? Depends your prayer. Panalampalataya. That night, we pray. And after pray, our staff, I told them, okay, go home, sleep well, see you tomorrow. Even if no rivalry, never mind, just sleep na lang, masyado pagod. We all went home. One of our staff and two was a riding jeepney going home. From the, you know, the prayer mountain area, they riding jeepney going home. While they are sitting in the jeepney, they took, pa, ano yun, tomorrow we have no rivalry, tomorrow we have no any permit. They will never pass with unless we have a librarian. Yan ang usap sila. When they usap, they was in front of, di ba yun, the chipney is open ng face to face, no? Face to face. The one of the women told, say, excuse me, ma'am, are you looking for the librarian? Yes, we have a problem, school, etc., etc. Sabi niya, ako yung librarian. Can you not give a club offering to the Lord God? We never know her. And she said, I am the librarian. I have some problem. That's why I transferred my house from Don Sakabite to here. If you need the librarian, I will be working for you tomorrow. You know, tomorrow following, all in the morning, she came up. She is the one do everything. The inspector came to the school and she will the one answer everything. And after all the answer everything, the inspector of chat said, Congratulations, your the college permit already passed. 
Sometimes, sometimes we do not know. Sometimes we do not know how the Lord God working. But if you are ready, if you are ready to have a faith, and the Lord will make a way. That's why what we have to do, believe in the word of God, trust the Lord, even if others will not believe, even if others will not attend church, rain or shine, shine, whatever situation, you must be here, church, to worship the Lord. Amen. That's why our church in Kainta, we always say, our slogan, rain or shine, busy or not, we will serve the Lord. Why? God's blessing is not everyone. The blessing of the Lord is not easy. But when you are following, obey to the Lord, He will make a way into our life. Let's give you a clap offering. Totally. Ano yun? The conqueror must be. You have to remember that the conqueror, the Joshua, was reminded by God that challenging him, the people, for readiness. Whenever you want to bless by God, whenever you want to be a success, to be a victor, conqueror, you must to ready. Sabi mo, ready. Ready. Ready to fight enemy. Ready to fight temptation. Ready to fight of the situation. Ready to fight doubting your mind and heart. You have to fight it. And all the we have a problem. But I mean, ang problem sometimes. Unexpected happening. Sometimes there is away. Sometimes a financially little problem. Sometimes there is something happening. Whatever situation, by holding the promise of God, you must be ready to fight the situation. If you really fight it, if you never, never giving up, the Lord will make a way. The problem sometimes, Christian, pero is it to giving up? Sometimes some of the member might misunderstood. Eh, sige, hindi ako nang simba. Sometimes the problem of the finances, ay, kailangan trabaho, excuse ng Sunday. Sometimes may malakas ng ulan, ay, malakas na ulan. Sometimes the problem, not feeling well, not feeling well, okay, simba, oh, congratulations, not feeling well. We are very, very gen generous in ourselves. But I know you're the conqueror. Conqueror should prepare the helmet and everything and all the gadget he have to prepare, have to prepare and ready to fight any enemy. Because why? If you really have a prepared yourself, even the enemy, he will try to destroy you. He will try to harm you. He try to stop you. They never stop you anymore. Amen. Amen. Why? God is the backbone of your life. Life. He will be the one pushing you. He will be the one holding you who can against you. Amen. You have to see God is beside you. When I was, when I was really praying, I saw the vision of God. My eyes was open. I see the Jesus. And I always remember, ah, Jesus is my backbone. Holy Spirit is the one pushing me. Whatever situation, whatever circumstance we have, we have to fight and believing God will be work in divine intervention. Amen. Amen. Now we are constructing our, one of our daughter churches in Bicol. Praise God. And since, Pastor, we ask a special love offering to the Binangunan. I don't know. Bicol supporting na lang. And one of our school students graduate. I have no desire to build the church of the Bicol. And sabi na, pastor, in the provinces, wala nang pastor, wala nang tao, wala nang, wala nang Christian. So I want to pastoring there. Please help me. I told him, okay, sige, I will visit Bicol. When I visit the Bicol, sabi ko, no, hindi pwede. Why? May daan doon sa Brom de Manila, I was driving the car, almost 12 hours driving. When we go to the Bicol, have you come from Bicol? Hindi ako decline Bicol. Doon, the, the kalsada, parang ganito, ganito, ganito. After we dumating doon Bicol, nang already tapos na, we already eh, sit down opo, our body still ganito pa. 
masyado ng kalsada, parang ganong dami. And sabi niya, madami ng NPA doon. May problem ako, NPA, madami. Sabi ko, no, masyado ng masyado malayo, masyado situation. To make a short, if God is plan, we can say no. I just, I found out the provision of God and I work. So we are starting work. So we, we already purchased a lot. We purchasing parang ganito lon lote. We purchase a lot. We will starting. Okay, everything ready. Starting tayo. We start construction. Before the construction, whenever we apply the building permit, we apply building permit to municipio. When we apply the building permit, the building permit will stop it. When we apply the building permit, according to them, no, you cannot build the church anymore. And sabi ko, bakit ano problem yon? Sabi niya, the lote that we bought is agricultural lot. Ala ko, we bought only 300, more or less 350 square meter lot. Pero yan, nakita ko ng title, it's not 300, one hectare lote. The owner of the lot was one hectare and they only sold, sold, uh, selling us, uh, sold us 350 square meters. So, and then according to the municipal say that if you want to have a building permit apply, ito yung lahan ng isang hectare conversion from the agricultural residence. And sabi ko, we are not the owner of one hectare, we are the owner of the 350. Sabi niya, hindi pwede. And when I look at the owner, he just turn around. Wala nang solution ako. And sabi ko, makano kailangan ng gastos ng conversion? Million. Wala nang choice. Third choice. How long it take time? Maybe it's a year and year. Take a year. Sabi ko, in Tagalog patay. Wala nang solution. Wala nang, so, wala na, wala na, wala. Do we need to giving up? Do you have any solution? Please help me. Di ba, wala nang solution? Wala nang solution talaga, wala nang wala. Even if wala nang wala, please do not stop to pray. When you pray to the Lord, when you cry to the Lord, when you really cry out in mercy of the Lord, and the Lord will make way. Amen. So, I just totally stressed ako, and parang wala nang solution, but the Lord asked to pray, and when we go back to the lot, our lot 350, nakita ko in the portion of the 350, meron yan small old house. Parang it's already 30 years ng konti lang halo bulak, tapos destroy na, wala nang bobong, lahat very old, parang like a, para like a bodega dati. When I see it and ask them, how long this was a structure? Sabi niya, tagal, pastor, tagal. And then I sending the people, okay, the Lord give the wisdom. Go back to the municipio, sabi niya, may dati, may meron ng konting bahay, konting bahay, pwede po yun, ito, apply, not apply the building permit, apply renovation permit. Tanong mo, kung pwede ng renovation plan. So, the person is went to the municipio, sir, pwede daw ng renovation plan. And the, the municipio say, may, may, may building ng konti, Opo, mayroon ng small, luma ng luma, almost destroy. Ah, ganun ba? Wala ng problem. Kung may ganito na, pwede na yung tatayo ng building. Now, October 21, 20, already tatayo ng building. Parang, glory to God, glory to God. In our knowledge, in our, in our the, uh, IQ, in our understanding, parang impossible, but pero, when you are really pray to the Lord, God will work it out. Sabi mo, God will work in your life. What is important is you, you must be ready. Ready to fight. Ready to trust. Ready to believe the name of the Lord. Kanina, Pastor, when I enter, when I enter, nakita ko ng the youth dancing. Talaga nang, talaga, ano? Oo, oh, oh. And then, then, then now, ako, wala nang electric fan dito. <laughs> Pastor, kailangan aircon tayo. <laughs> I will buy one aircon. Kayo na lang bilhin ng isang aircon. 
almost 80 church churches church, is now kay challenging kayo challenging ako lang bili ng isang aircon nako saan yung pera ng kukuha anyway the lord is more than our imagination amen and the end of the end I, I will i will just i will just purchase isang aircon and the member bili ng isang aircon so on december may maganda tayo Gawawa naman yun, bata. May masyado ng masyado. Parang shower ng shower. Brother, sister, when you are staying conqueror, when you say you are the conqueror, hindi ka na bata. You are not children anymore. Stand firm. Stand firm. And really believe in God. And work, serve the Lord. When you really work in serving God, God mightily work in life. Kailangan may meron ng personal testimony. Kailangan God is really working. I serving God, serving God. Pero in my life, we must be building great testimony in my life. Amen. So that the conqueror always ready to fight, you always experience the victory in the name of Jesus. Amen. Problem ko sa yun pera ng bili ng I I aircon. <laughs> Sometimes we we have a faith, but situation hindi. Situation hindi. But when you trust the Lord God, when you really pray to the Lord, God will make a way. Amen. Tayo ay tumayo. Let's pray. I want challenge brother sister. May meron kayo panalan palataya. Ano yung level ng pananampalataya? My back, baby, my youth, my adult, my conqueror, all the victor. You have to check it. You have to have a determination. The Lord, from now on, I will work as conqueror. I will believe you, Lord. I holding the promise. I will always do heading by your word. And I will ready to fight to have a victory. Kailangan. Let's just bow down and pray. Our Father in heaven, praise you, God. This is a wonderful Sunday, Lord, that the Lord God working. Twelve years of the leader of Pastor Galing Kanyado. And all the leaders in Deacon and Worker. Lord, we give you praise, honor. Lord, we give you praise, honor. Thank you for the wonderful ministry of God. Thank you for all of sharing the member. Thank you for their sacrifice, loving church of God. Lord, Heavenly Father, remember that they are conqueror. Let them to always hold in promise. Let them to have a great testimony. God is working day and day and night. And God is working every moment of our life. Whenever they pray unto you, Lord, Father, answer prayer and keep the favor of your blessing upon them. Heaven, you know all the situation of the life. Bless all their member, family, their work, even their business, in their personal life. Lord, be their God, be their God, and be master of their life. Lord, as we celebrate, we all praise your goodness, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.